Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. It's the first one of 2022, the first restoration. Um, I haven't been up here for a while, but I've been a bit busy uh, looking after Linda and doing jobs around the house. Bloody radiator packed up the other day. We had a leak. I noticed the pressure had gone down on the boiler, and I thought, well, it's got to be a radiator. I mean, all the other radiators have been replaced, so I've done all them. <clears throat> So it had to be another leaky radiator, and the only one it was, it could have been, is the bedroom one. So, yeah, there it was, a bit of rust coming on the floor. I just pulled the curtain out of the way, there it was. So I had to do that. So, anyway, that's all working now, it's not leaking anymore. Um, apart from that, I've had a few things around the house to do, been busy really. I haven't really had the enthusiasm to do any car stuff, like restoration stuff. It's been a bit cold out there and windy. As you know, all these storms that's been going through, just haven't really sort of had the enthusiasm to go out there really because it's not very inviting to go out in the cold shed. Doing, you know, you can't spray nothing because it's too cold. And I, you know, I don't really want to go put the heaters on in the shed, messing around like that, or wait till the warmer weather comes. And, but I mean, this video I got today is one what I already had haven't found it on my laptop, and I thought, ah, I can put that, put that one up, keep you lot going for a while. But I am going to come back with some more ones. You know, I've got to sort of stack a few up and get them done during the summer months and that when it's a bit wetter, the weather's a bit warmer. Because it's no good doing this sort of lark in the, in the um, winter. It's, it's not worth the bother. You don't feel like going out there. It's, and I only do it for fun. You know, I mean, it's not a job, it's a, it's a hobby, you know. And I just like to show what the outcome is, really. So I might start cutting these videos down a bit make them a bit shorter like you know because they do go and <clears throat> they are a bit long-winded sometimes a bit like me really but um anyway thanks everybody for um, sticking with me uh, see the subscriber count's going up a bit more again thanks for that and um what else can i say look after yourselves everybody i'll be back with another one as soon as i can but for now watch this one and enjoy bye bye for now see you next time see ya Right then everybody, this is the old, um, oh what is it, Corgi Kennel Club. I've got three models sent in by different subscribers, as you can see. And I've got all these, so I've got all these spare parts, I mean that's broke, I've got some wheels there. I've got a black interior that's been sprayed, I want to try and get that black off if I can. So I've got some spare doors, I've got doors on this one. So, we're going to take this one apart as well. I've actually sprayed a bit of paint on there to try and match it with some paint I've got, and I think that's about the closest I can get to it. It's slightly darker, but I don't think it's going to make a lot of difference. That one's been sprayed, and it looks, looks all right. I think that's about the same color, I think. So, um, we're going to take this one apart. We're also going to take this apart. It's already been drilled apart, this one. And we're going to look at all the spares we've got here, and we're going to try and make a good one out of all these bits. What we've got, we've got plenty of wheels. And I think this here is about the best bumper I'm going to have for this one. This needs a bit of re retouching there along that line, but the back ain't too bad. It's not. It's just that line where it needs retouching with the um, Molotov along along there on these two side pieces but the rest of it the front and the um, back there's a bit of touching up needs doing on there ain't too bad apart from that so that's going to be probably the um, suspension part we're going to use so we'll put that aside we've got windows we can put they there wheels well don't matter what wheels we use they'll, they'll be alright anyway polished up that glass is naff because we've got a dirty great line through the top of that piece but the best piece of glass I think in these three models, this this interior might have to be used, 
if I can't get the paint off that black one, that's the best one of the lot. The one with the black, but it's black. And I don't want it black, I want it that colour. So I'm going to have to try and get this off. Soak it in something. Oven cleaner or something like that, whatever. I think, who is it? Nick, I think he uses oven cleaner, or was it? No, it's Martin, isn't it? And that, most probably get that off, because I think it's only matte paint by the looks of it anyway, so that should come off pretty easy. This one ain't too bad, but there's some glue on it. Somebody's had some glue on that, and I don't think that's going to shift very easy. Apart from that, it would have been all right. So, um, like I was saying, the glass on this one, that's naff as well, look. That's all cracked on the top. So both of them are knackered. If I could somehow cut a piece of Perspex out to replace this piece with, that would be about the only way to rescue this, because I could probably polish that out. But I need a piece of Perspex, I'm going to have to cut along there. I might try it actually, because I want to try and get two out of this, if I can help it. And I might, you know, try and... Um, the front screen's that. oh, that's gone. The front screen's gone. But um yeah, so that one there is a possibility of a saving. Oh, there's a bit gone there. Is that noticeable though? Let's have a look. No, it's not. Side bits don't matter by the looks of it. It's, you're only gonna see it inside. So you're not going to see that little um, bit on the side up there. So if I can try and get that piece out, I can get another good piece of glass out of that. So right, we've got that, all that out of the way. We want to take this, this here is all stripped. So what we're going to do is use this one here. Because I've already, this this come like this, and I'm going to, what I'm going to do, I've, I've tried, you know, I've polished it up a bit more, I've already drilled it out. So this is the actual shell we're going to use. There's a bit of muck on there, I've got to get off with a wire brush again. I'll do that now. A bit of oil come off. Give another look at oil. Hopefully, ain't no sort of funny thing that makes a bubble, a paint go bubbly. So, um, anyway, enough dribble drabble. Let's get this one apart and see how good this piece of glass is here. And it obviously needs a bit of work here with the old, you know, sandpaper. But we'll drill this one apart anyway. Get the old drew old story. I've already punched them. And that's enough of that. Right, we need to um, change up to the bigger size drill bit. Because now we want to get the old top of the rivet off, so we'll put the um, next size in. We'll just in that case. It's enough for that. And I'll put my small drill bit back in because I've got to drill that one out at some point. I always leave the small drill bit in here because that's the one I use the most drilling post out. Stick out of the side, right. This should come apart now. I'll get all this crap out of the way here in a minute. Right, where's me? Um, oh, there he is. So we pop this up now. Try and get it in there. Ah, there he goes. Well, nearly swallowed that. Bloody hell. And he went me gob. Nearly had a bit of a rivet post in me gob. Huh. That's come up easy there. Maybe I'll work this one off a bit, I think. 
I'm not too fussed about this bumper yet. It needs work on it anyway. I'll probably chip out of way slightly. That should come off now. <coughs> there he goes. Don't like to drill too much away from the top. Because you want a nice fit. Daddy wheels is tires is wrong tires for this anyway. They're all the cock. Get out. There's another bottom we can stick out of the way. Take them bloody wheels off them. They're all crumbling anyway, they can go in the bin. I'm not fussed about them. Wheels, I might use them. <coughs> What's this like? This isn't looking too bad actually. This, this only needs some um, smoothing out a bit. And um, maybe a bit of five second fix along there and smoothing again just to build up where the plastic's been chipped away and the sides are alright they can be sprayed up again um, same with that you might be able to sand that out I'll see what it's like that might possibly be alright with a bit of sandpaper smoothed over probably get away with the back but I think the front the front is a bit ripply so I'm going to have to put a bit of 5 second fix over that to fix that but that's that's going to be a good um bumper piece, nothing wrong with that one, we can um, save that, right, let's have a look at this, I've got some more doors here, they can go up there, so I might as well keep them out of the way, and we've got top shell again, so we've got, actually we've got three, yeah, three of them, and there's the three doors, that one, have I got a spare door for this one? I don't know if I have. I'm not sure. Oh, that must be the door for that one. Yeah, one of them's got a door missing, so that's got to be cleaned up to go with that one before I spray that. Right, then this here. Oh, that's got glue on it as well, though. But, mind you, it doesn't look so bad as what the other one does. That might possibly come off. I use a blade on that very carefully. It might chip off. So I'll have a go at that and see if I can chip that glue off. See what it is, is it put glue in it to hold the dogs in there to stop the dogs moving around inside when you move the model about. That's all it's for. You're supposed to clip them into these things here. But they still move around. They always did. I remember I, I had one of these as a kid and they still move around inside because they come away from these things. But that's what, what they've been glued for, just to stop them moving around. So I'm going to try and clean that up, but I'm also going to try and get the paint off of that one. Now this, this is probably going to polish out or um, sand out. I'm not worried about them bits there, because you ain't going to see that so much. I'll give it a polish up, because you're going to see it inside. But you don't have to be so fussy with this, is what you do with this bit, because you're going to see this bit on the top of the actual model. That's going to be sanded out, but I think we can rescue this glass. Should be able to get that nice, nicely back to new. Give it a dip in the old pledge floor shine, and um, that should be like new again. So um, anyway, I'm going to get on now. We're going to spray this one now. I'm going to clean that up, obviously. That left be sprayed separately with me, me little pliers, and we're going to spray these two now. These two pieces. That's that's white, as you know. That's the red colour and the colours I've got is just ordinary white and the red I'm using Kia Signo Red for this for this base. So I'm gonna get on and spray this now. That's gonna be our next task. And in the meantime, while this all this is gonna be drying, I'm gonna try and get all this soaked up and cleaned and um, obviously have a have a go, a go at this glass. But first of all, I've got to have a clear up here. <laughs> I just thought I'd show you guys. This is that window. There are a very tiny, minute scratches left in there. You can hardly see them. You just look in the light. You just a very few tiny bits I've got to do. But that's all I did to start with. That sandpaper, wet sandpaper, 
I think it's um well, I don't know what it I don't know what grit it is, I ain't got a bloody clue. It's it's just fine sandpaper. Um sand it over it, that's what it looked like to start with. And you see it looks all rough, but that after I've got my polish on it, the also polish and the Dremel go over that a few times, two or three times. And I don't even know if I need to dip this when I finish with this because you look how shiny that's come out like. There's just a few little bits there left to do that. That should be crystal time I finish with that. And I'm going to try and get the top like it as well. I mean, looking at the screen before I started, it was pretty rough, but all the chips, they're gone. Just thought I'd show you. Bit of time, that's all you need. Take your time with it, and then you can get it back to new. Right then, guys, um, <clears throat> just one quick thing. Before we um, start to spray up this model, I've, um, I've got this other screen, the one I showed you with the split in it. And I'm going to repair this one. I've already cleaned up the good screen of the three, what we had. As you can see, that's come out really nice. I haven't dipped it. There is a slight little mark there, but I can't go too deep. That ain't going to show like that. I've done the front screen. That I'm going to leave it like that. It's been polished up. And that's got to be bloody good enough for what we want. The other one, this is the, the next best of the three. The front screen's not cracked. It's got to be sandpapered and all that. But these pieces here are all, all right, because you can see that. Because once you put it in the actual cab, that piece doesn't get shown. It only gets shown from the inside of the actual model. But you're not going to see it like that. So we can save this one. Uh, th this one here is the worst one of the three. Because you've got a big split down the middle. I could have probably had a go at that. But there's this big split there, you know, on the front screen. that is cracked on the front. So we can't really do much about that one. So that one's going to be... All right, for bits of plastic, if you want to use any. We could actually use a piece of this on here. If you see what I mean. We could use a piece of that one. Or, if not, we could use a piece of the old CD stuff. But I think what I'll do, I will actually use a piece of that, because I can't do nothing with this screen anyway. So I'm going to cut this piece out and use this for um, filling in that. I've already cut this piece out as you can see and all I've done is gone I had it flat on the, on the thing like that on the old what do you call it? Gone very sharp or you know carefully down the line and very careful on this side because there is that split and then gone across there and made a line and then sort of gone and made a few more lines and cuts and gradually picked them out piece by piece very carefully and and they you know they usually snap this when you've got the crack in it it's like cutting tiles it'll snap so i managed to get it all out now and i've cleaned it up it's all nice and smooth and ready to take a new piece of glass so i think what i'm going to do now i'll just demonstrate in a minute what i was on about all you do is you get your blade and you just score it where you want to cut it, give it a nice score. I've gone on the wrong bit there, I can't, I'm trying to do it on camera, see that's the trouble. I can't see what I'm bloody doing here. And you just score it like that. And then you go along this piece. And you score that. Then you should be able to um, work this out. It's a bit awkward when you've got two corners. If it's just like one, you can just go like that and it will snap. But when you've got two, this is where it gets awkward. You've got to try and get it to go somewhere. Once you get it to go, more than likely I'll cock this up because I'm doing it on camera now. And I'll have to use a CD case. But you just, ah, there we go, they are, I have copped it up. It's an awkward piece to get out, that one. So, 
I'll show you what it does anyway. It's supposed to just click like that, like that and it'll break. But when you've got a, a piece up there, you've got to go, go really careful. So what I'm going to do, I'll just do it on, on the old CD case. That is not good now. Well, that one's definitely mashed. <laughs> so that's definitely not any good now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a CD, piece of CD to do this. Um, top of this, <clears throat> what we do. Um, where should I go? I'll go. If I cut that flat there, I can use that as a top. And I'll show you how easy that. See, it just breaks. That's how easy it's supposed to do it. Right, so we've got our start there. To get our size, you, you can always cut it just slightly bigger is the best way because then you then you can cut it down a bit. So then you just draw around it really with your blade very lightly. Where are we going? That's it. That's where we're going. So you just go down to there. That's our width, and that's where it starts. And then we go along. And on that. So I use that as a ruler. I mean, I should be I should be using a ruler really here yeah, to do this, but I can't be bothered to get the bloody thing out. I'm so lazy I am. So I'll use that. slightly deeper then we want to cut that up about there just a light straw to start with that should be enough you see it should be enough for us to cover that piece then you just a deeper score and a deeper score on that And a deeper score on this piece here. Like that. So then we can break these pieces off. So it's so easy to come off that when you when you do it properly. And we can this this will bend slightly easier than the other stuff. It's a lot more flexible, it's a bit thinner than the other stuff. And we've got that gone, that's so now we can just break that off with our fingers. There you go, so that's a little bit more of that. And we break that off with our fingers. Now, we should have a piece. We've just got to fold it down slightly, and that can fit in the top of there like that. And then we'll have a new, a new roof. So I'm going to get on and do that. The stuff to use for this, by the way, is the old one. I'll get it like that. Is it doesn't set right away until you shine the light on. Five second fix, and this dries totally clear, so you won't even see it. And there you go, repaired, that's all fixed and you, you don't get no, it's a see through finished clear. All I did was I recessed this down a bit, this piece of glass, so this, this piece is slightly lower because that there is placed on top of it so you've still got the seam lines like that and then it goes up against that piece there. And that's how I've done it. So when that goes in the actual thing now, what's wrong with that? Got a totally clear crack-free top. Job finished. 
So that's another decent screen we got now. All I've got to do is sand paper this because it is a bit scuffed. Maybe do give that a bit of a sand as well. But that's all really, just in that bit and that bit there. The rest is alright. All that's clean. So we've got another screen we can use. This here, that is the piece that was black. <laughs> it actually did come off pretty easy. It came off, it, well, it started falling off actually in the brake fluid because it was a matte paint. So that's another thing we don't have to worry about. We've got, got a steering, well, we've got the steering wheel. That's bloody, that's black. But I can always use the steering wheel of the other one or something like that for that. And as I clean, go through the process of cleaning the, the other, um, clean this one off I could do I suppose I could chuck that in there and might as well might as well do that one as well <laughs> but there you go so we'll, anyway we'll get on and spray the, these bits up now right then let's give this a spray now now all I'm using for this is um, let's just do that in a minute it's just a basic um, Ford, Ford white and um, it's a uh, it's high coat and it's one of these um, big cans. I don't know what mil it is, or how many mil. What's it, 300 or 400 mil? Something like that. A, a bloody camera now. And um, yeah, it's just a basic white, really. So uh, I thought, yeah, that would be alright. And, and I'll tell you what, it sprays really nice. And once you give the can a good shake, look at that. that. Nothing wrong with that. That's spraying beautiful. Yeah, so, um, anyway, with this one here, this um, base part, I use Ico again. I, I, I think I showed the cans just now. And this, this key of red, I did notice it's got like a pearlescent finish on this one. It's not supposed to be pearlescent, I know, but the paint, it didn't say pearlescent on the can. But the red was, you know, one the bad match for what I thought anyway. I might be a bit colour blind, but there you go. But yeah, this is this is spraying on nice. Yeah, look at that. That'll do. That'll do nicely. Right then, guys. I've um, lacquered all this now. And I've also put the side stickers on because I wanted to lacquer it over them as well. I lacquered it with one coat. Then I let that dry and I put these stickers on. And I thought I want to protect them. So... I've lacquered over it again with that. And then since then I put the um front one on as well. Now these stickers, these are actually um from model supplies, I think. They were they were um purchased ones and not what I printed. Barry Barry Shackson sent the one he sent two of these in and I think it's one of the ones that he's got that I've done. But I'm gonna like I said I was gonna try and make two out of this anyway. But in the meantime we're concentrating on just doing the one so um barry sent the stickers in and the other chap that sent the other model in quite a while back now was ian Halley. he sent me one in as well but i ain't like i say i ain't sure which ones is which out of the three so there was one sent in by ian Halley, and and two two of these was sent in by um barry shackson so thank you both for that for sending that in so um, it's enabled me to have plenty of spare parts and of course try and repair a few parts to get this thing going so that's all i'm concentrating for now is on this one here so um anyway what we got to do now is put this thing back together i've got all the rivets ready for it i've made some little rivets up so um first of all we're going to put our glass back in now i've got the I'll clean the windows up this isn't, the, this isn't the piece I showed you that I repaired. This is the, piece, the best piece of the three. So we're putting that back in there. So that pops in there like that. Then you've got your windows. And they sort of, there's little grooves down there. You make sure the handles are facing outwards. And you slot them down in them little grooves like that. It's a lot simpler this one to put back with the windows than what the ice cream van is. Because you've got the glass there, that'll see that holds windows in. So. You don't have to worry about the windows moving about. There, see, they'll stay there like that, see? So that's a lot simpler. Then we got our um, <clears throat> dog back and our seating piece goes in there. Now this is the bit that's got to make sure it's in properly because of the glass. 
And there you go, it's in there now. Then we've got a little tailgate. He just drops in there like that. Then we've got our um our lights. I've already I've already painted the back lights on that. So that goes in on top of there. Like that. Is that there holds the actual tailgate and I think that piece. Get it, make sure it's pushed down all the way around. Make sure it's a nice fit. Yeah, that holds a tailgate in, see. Then, got that the wrong way round. Got our wheels. I've changed the tyres on these wheels, put new ones on it. They go in there, they drop in the old thing like that. Then, we've got our um, bottom half. Now, this one here is two tone, of course, but you know how I hate two tones. This one's alright because it's two halves. You can't go wrong. <laughs> and there you go, it just goes together like that. So, we get our glue and just put our rivets in now. And then that'll be um, job done for this one. A little application tool. I'll stick a little bit on the top of there as well, I think. Just hold that rivet there. <clears throat> Can't even get my fingers in there, so bloody tight. So we'll use a pair of um, Premi. Oh, bugger. Come on. Bloody fingers are like tits here today. Push that on in there. Push him down. I'll let him catch him a minute before I put the other one in. Give him a few seconds to um, catch and then we'll put the back ones in. That should be alright. And we want a little bit of glue in these. Would have been a good idea, really, I think. If I fold these down slightly, because... Actually, I think I will, folks. I'm going to come off camera now. I'm going to take this apart again. I'm going to fold these down slightly. I don't think I've done them enough on there. They're a bit high. So I'm going to come back with the rivets all in. But I've forgotten to do that. Let's see. If you look, I just a little, send a little bit of pro the post. Just needs a bit of a file across on this all. So I'm going to do that in a minute. And then, well, when we come back, it'll be. Well, turntable shot, I suppose. So, there you go. That's how it's going to look. Not too bad. Okay, guys, this is, um, as always, this is what we started with. Um, well, not exactly, because we had a couple more models as well. And, as I said before, it was sent in by a couple of subscribers, uh, what am I on about, subscribers, by the names of Barry Shaxton. He, he sent two in. And um, I had one for a long time in my box from Ian Hulley as well. So thanks to you both for sending these models in. And um, well, we managed to um, make a good one out of all three with all the bits I had. And um, well, it didn't need a lot to win really. Well, just a, it's just a respray really and a repair of the odd few parts. re of a few bits, polish up of the glass, new tyres cleaning the wheels, etc, etc, but little do you know, I got a little surprise, I've done this one on camera as you saw, but when we see this one, look what else I've done, I've done another one, there you go, I've also done the Chipperfields Poodle, um, Performing Poodles version, and um, I thought, Seeing I repaired that glass on the top of that thing what I showed you on video, I thought I might as well have a go at doing another one. 
that's all that's all I've done, it's just well, it's, the only difference is the top is a blue instead of white. That's the only difference and different um stickers on the side. P performing poodles, chipper fields on the side. But I ain't got no poodles for it, so sorry about that. I've got to excuse the fuzziness of the turntable shots because my turntable went wrong. I think the motor burnt out or something, it just would not go. And I, what I've done, I, I found another little motor I had lying around and I've soldered that in there, but the trouble is, it goes around like a bloody, I don't know what, it's, it's, what, what, it's way too fast. It's, I don't know why these cars stayed on there because it was spinning around so fast and what I've done, I've actually slowed the, the picture down a bit so that you can actually see what's going on. <laughs> But I'm going to have to do something about it because I'm not happy with this this picture actually because it is a bit fuzzy as you can see because I've slowed it down. But anyway, apart from that, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. Watch again next time when I'm back. And um, I'll see you all again very soon. But until then, it's bye bye from me. Bye bye.